Hello and welcome to our Daily Soap. So good to have you join us today uh, as we look at Proverbs chapter 27. What verse or verses spoke to you this morning? How did God use his word to speak to your heart today? For me, it was verse 19, which says, As in water, face reflects face, so the heart of man reflects the man. My O, oh, my observation is, just as water reflects a person's actual appearance, so the heart reflects a person's true nature. While a person may conceal or reveal his heart through his speech and actions, only God can see its true state. My A, my application is, the state of my heart will ultimately determine the course of my life. I need to fill my heart with God's word and allow the Holy Spirit to fill it with God's love. Then, and only then, will my life reflect God's love. What I believe needs to be shaped also by God's word. And my prayer is, Lord, forgive me for not always being a true reflection of you. Forgive me, yet continue to mold me and make, you in, make me into the character that is a true reflection of you. And may I become more, a little more like Christ each and every day. Amen. So this is our soap for today. How did God speak to you? How did he speak to you through his word as you read through Proverbs 27? I've enjoyed hearing the comments and um, whether online or in person or by email. Uh, it's just been a blessing to me. And I pray that these times that we've been together uh, are also a blessing for you as well. Look forward to continuing. We're almost finished with the 31 day challenge. I know some of you have fallen behind, but that's okay. This is self-paced. And so continue to, to work at it, and, and we'll uh, get through this month, through this 31-day uh, Proverbs Challenge together. Now, as we prepare to go, let me close us all in prayer. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we once again thank you for the gift of your word that helps us to grow, but also challenges us in those areas where maybe we haven't even thought of before. Father, we thank you that uh, in those times when we haven't been exactly all that you've wanted us to be, that Father, you forgive us when we uh, seek that forgiveness from you. But Father, we know that we have been redeemed and saved by you. <clears throat> and so Father, we know that, that there is nothing that is bigger than that and your great love for us, a love that is never based on anything we say or do, but Father, it's based on the simple fact that because of Christ, we are now your children. Father, help us to remember that each and every day of our lives and let us live in the realization every minute, every hour, every day. And we pray these things in Jesus' holy name, amen. I'll see you tomorrow for Proverbs chapter 28.